Hello students, I hope all of you are fine and enthusiastic. My name is Moshmi Rakshu. Today we are going to study EVS class 4. Before going to the text, I have a task for you. Students, this is a chinky. She gets lit for her school. But before going to school, she cross have to cross the river. Can you help her by finding ways to cross the river? Look, one solution is that she can take a boat and cross the river. But today, the person who help her to cross the river with the boat is sick. You may also suggest me, ma'am, there is another way that is your ways. Helicopter. Helicopter is possible, but going to school is a daily process. So, this option is eliminated. Now, look at a rather long-term solution for this problem. We can build a bridge which can help Chinky and many other students like Chinky without worrying about the depth of the river. And the bridge will never feel sick too. <laughs> Actually, I mean to say that this is never going to happen that a bridge shouts, Hey human, stop walking over me and I will... I am sick of you. Now we have a built and Chinky will reach her school on time. Well done students. Now task is complete. Now related with these we have a chapter class 4 going to school. In this chapter students Chapter number 1, Going to School. This chapter is talking about different ways and paths that we follow every day while going to school. In this chapter, particularly in this video, we are talking about different types of bridge. So here we go. Number 1. Bamboo Bridge in Assam As you can see in this picture, this is a bamboo bridge. In bamboo bridge, bamboos are tightly with the rope. Here are the examples. This is another picture of bamboo bridge. Now you get a clear idea about bamboos are tied with the help of a rope. Let us read this. It rains so much here where we live. Sometimes after the rain, there is knee high water everywhere. But that does not stop us from getting to school. We hold our books in one hand, bamboo with the other. We quickly cross the bamboo and rope bridge to reach the school. Because getting ourselves educated is more important than any other difficulties we face to school. Let us read another, the trolley. Trolley. In Ladakh, the trolley is, is commonly used because Ladakh is a high hilly area. This is a picture of trolley. Let me show... Another picture of trolley. So, you can see a thick iron rope which is tightly uh, tied across the river and it is very strong. So, this rope is holding the trolley and here you can see there is another rope which is pull this trolley from one side to another. Okay, I hope... Now, this is another example of trolley. Now, let us read this out. 
Every day we have to cross the river to school. The river is wide and deep. There is a strong iron rope across the river. On both the side it is tied, tied tightly with the strong trees. This is a trolley, an open box made up of wood attached with the rope. Four or five on to sit in the trolley or a pulley have the trolley to move the across the roof. We reach the other side of the river on a short time. Now comes to the pulley. Let us look again to this trolley. Here we have two small pulley to move the trolley from one end to another without much effort. Without the help of pulley, it is impossible to anyone to carry the trolley from one end to another. Let us first understand how pulley works. Okay? Here is a cartoon of how pulley works. In this cartoon, there is a pulley. Across this pulley, there is a rope on one end of its rope. A person is making a fort of pulling and trying to leave the load. And on the other hand of this rope, there is the load itself. So here, here this pulley is making the effortless because of the that load feels half less heavy or lighter. I hope the the concept of this pulley is clear to your mind now. Okay, students. Now open your book. Let us do page number two. Observe picture one and two. In the picture, children are pulling the bucket from the well. Can you see the difference in both the picture? Yes, we can see. In picture 1, the child is not using the pulley and in picture 2, the child is using the pulley. To the next question, question number two. Look around you where all of you see the use of pulley. Lease them. You have to lease them where you see the pulley. Uh, number one, for example, we can see the pulley to pull out the water from the well. In construction site, uh, leave the loads. Okay. Now, in third question, with the help of the pulley, try and leave the various things as shown in the picture. You see the lady sitting over here. Lady is sitting over here. Here various things are shown in the picture. Now come to the next topic. Cement bridge. Now we can come to the next topic. Cement bridge. Cement bridge is commonly seen in various parts of India. Let us read. We often need to go to across some water bodies, so we use bridge. These are made of bricks, cement and iron rods. This bridge of many steps. Like in this picture, the bridge have steps, but not only, not all bridge have steps. Some have steps also. Okay? Now students, let me show another example of cement bridge. Here in this picture this is a concrete road. Here we have a cement bridge. Okay. So now we have a get a clear idea about cement bridge is different from bamboo bridge. We can know how cement bridge is different from bamboo bridge because cement bridge is strong and bamboo bridge is weak. Cement bridge is made up of iron rods, bricks and cement and bamboo bridge is made up of only bamboo.
Okay, students. Now over to the question page number three. Okay. A question number one. How is the bridge different from the bamboo bridge? Means this bridge in this in this question this bridge means cement bridge. How cement bridge is different from bamboo bridge? You know, you have taught in this chapter how cement bridge is different from bamboo bridge. Okay. Cement bridge is strong and bamboo bridge is weak. Cement bridges made up of iron rods and many more, and bamboo bridges made up of only bamboo. Now, question number two: How many people do you think can cross the bridge at one time? You can know, students, that how many people can cross the bridge at one time. In this question, the bridge means cement bridge. Okay. Now. Next to next over to the statement. You have seen how children use different kinds of bridge to cross river and other uneven areas to school to reach school. Now question number one: If you had a chance, which bridge would you like to use and why? Students, if you had a chance. to use any one of the bridge which you like just write their name and and also write the reason why you like that bridge now question number 2 do you have to cross any bridge on the way to your school if yes what is the bridge like means when you come to school which bridge if and is any is there any bridge you have to cross on the way of your school if you cross any of your bridge then why you, uh, uh, what is the bridge like you have to write the name okay then th third question find out from your grandparents what kind of bridge were there when they were young okay based on what we have studied so far let's do one activity okay so in this activity you have to collect some bricks suppose you have collect five bricks and lay it on the ground like this and walk on it was it easier to walk my question is was it easier to walk on these bricks think it and answer it on your copy okay So students today we have learned about the bamboo bridge the trolley the pulley and the cement bridge and also the difference between the bamboo bridge and the cement bridge okay so remaining portion will be covered up in next class dear students stay home stay safe god bless you thank you